YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is City Skyline Strategy and Tactics Episode 63! So, um, when we last left our um, congested city for the moment, uh, we are still trying to think of a way to defuse this nonsense here. Now, the whole reason I went through my big rail network build here is because um, I don't want to avoid this! These should be on here, because the rail line goes through the whole thing. The whole thing. Now, I read on, um, uh, I actually posted this to the, um, to the City Skylines subreddit. And um, a user by the name of Fuzzy Bloomers offered a, a suggestion for me. Because um, I was noticing that, where is it? Oh, well, hmm. It seems to have fixed itself here a little bit. No. Nope, those are just people walking. This particular uh, station right here, the people only use the bottom platform. Um, and um, that uh, that is causing some congestion issues. Oh wait, no, it's this station that only the people use the bottom platform, and that's causing some congestion issues. Um, and I wonder if more people can more efficiently use our train network that um, we might not see, so we might see some better usage out of it. Um, so, I'm wondering if, uh, if we should, um, and they, they proposed the suggestion of merging them. Now, originally we had, um, the green line here services Dark Astoria and, uh, King's Row over here, and they pretty much go back and forth and bring the, uh, passengers to here, and then the light blue line takes over for this main line. What if we made one super line right here? One one super all, big a mega line. Um, it's I mean I, I I hate to disrupt the blue line because the blue line's doing great, but it's bumping into the green line here, and maybe uh maybe more people would use their destinations both to and from uh, if they had access to uh, to to those lines. So you know what? Let's give that a try. Let us let us give that a try. We're we're going to do some train station rerouting here um actually let me let me use the transportation tools and so i can do wholesale uh, uh wholesale uh, adding and deleting of routes so um we're going to delete the uh the green line here we're going to delete the heel line here and we're actually going to delete the uh the red line here we're going to combine this into one mega line And what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, we're gonna make this actually we're gonna make it two mega lines, uh, one going in one direction and one going in another. So this one is gonna go from here to here to here to here to here to here back to here back to here. Actually, no, we only need one mega line because eventually we're going to have enough uh, enough uh, people to uh, and then complete line. Yeah. There to there to there to Dark Astoria. Oh, I know what we need to do. Dark Astoria back to here. Dark Alright, hang on. One more try. One more try. They want to, I want to get this down pat properly. Fine. All right. So back to the train line. Start here at the at the end here. Here to here to here to here to Dark Astoria. Back to here to uh, here, back to here, and then all the way back down again. Complete the line. Now we're going to get a lot of trains out of this, hopefully. Um, so it should be able to service the volume, but it should also balance out the, uh, the passenger loads. And hopefully if the trains uh, learn to space themselves out... Oh, one last thing. Let's, let us update this line. I'm going to put you back to the light blue, because that was sort of the ultimate color we were doing going for here. 
Alright, that's... Yeah, we just confused the ever-living heck out of these people, but ha-ha! Ha-ha! They are... They are lining up on the other sides of the uh, train station here. And yep, there we go. Double trains, double trains. That's what we're talking about. And the red ones are just the remnants of the uh, of the old lines here. They're probably just going to dump the... No, oh, no, no. They're just going to go somewhere else. Yeah, now this line... Well, this, this train station gets serviced by a couple of different lines, but yeah, there we go. And yeah, that's 240 of 240. That's that's more of like what we want. Now, hang on, let's let's inspect that line more closely. Uh, f only four vehicles. I wish there were more than four vehicles for this line, um, because we want more than four vehicles for this amount of this amount of stops. There should be more than that. Um, I s now, hang on, let me check my blue line because this this that one's the traditionally. Yeah, that's only four vehicles too. Um, it just happens to get in the way a little bit more often. But, you know, let's let's keep a closer eye on that. Because, again, I want people to be using the trains more often than they are, are uh, driving. Because if we can get them off the roads here, this traffic mess right here won't be quite as bad. And, and we know that they all want to get to this commercial district. That's That's what they want. They want to do that. So we just need to serve them better. How are we doing? 153 of 240? That's fine. And then, yeah, you guys are using that. You're 202 of 240. All right, so maybe four four lines is is not bad. And we got two. We got two of the trains here. Oh God! Look at all these people on the on the southern side. You're going up to that, and then you're going down. That's perfect. And we've got a fair number of people. Let me guess. There's 20, only 29. So not as many people want to go to here, but I still want to service it. Because um, you might still have some people who are uh, leaving work. And, uh, well, let's see how many people get into the train from here. Yeah, 240 to 240. So it is still worth it to send trains up this way, even if they don't come this way as often. Um, our industrial zone, by the way, is doing quite, uh, quite uh, robustly. All right. So this one, we're we're gonna we're we're gonna do a little train follow here, a little train spotting. Hope you guys don't mind us uh, traveling on this and just seeing how the line's working. Um, good Lord, look at all those people, and they just keep coming. They just keep coming. <laughs> you know what would be really crazy? is, I mean, uh, what we just need is just more trains going down that way. That's the crazy part. Because you're going down here. Now, here's the question. How many of these people get off at this? Well, this one's going to, yeah, they're going to they're gonna get some people getting off. Yeah, not a lot of people get off, so there's more people that want to just go. They just want to go just down south. So let me try something here, just to uh, just to help supplement this. We're gonna we're gonna make an express here. We're gonna make a new line go down here, and all you do is you stop here, and then you come right back. That's all you do. Just so we can start handling some of that volume. I know it's going to compete directly with what the blue line's doing, but if we can just get more trains on there, either that or I'll uh, increase the train budget and uh, get more vehicles. Actually, you know what? That might work out a little bit more efficiently. Where's that? It has the red ones spawn? How many people did got on this? Nah, nobody. All right, you know what? Yeah, let's let's try that instead. Let's let's fill the red line. We'll delete the red line, and we're we're actually just going to increase our train budget. 
be 125 and see how many uh, see how many lines we get on the blue one here five vehicles um we get more than five <laughs> What's the what's the maximum trading budget give us? Hopefully six. Nope, just five. Six. There it goes. All right, so six vehicles are now on this one. I wish that you could set the budget for each train station. Oops. All right, now I want to keep a closer eye on these and also want to make sure that they're not getting in each other's way. Where are, where are all of them? Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. This is what I was afraid of. The freaking blue line. Because now the blue line has uh, five vehicles. Uh, well, you know what? Let's modify the blue line here. Actually, let's delete the blue line and refine it. We need to refine the blue line. Alright, so the blue line has this train station to start at. It starts here. And, uh... It can't loop around to here. See, so yeah, th this whole track thing is problematic. Um, because it doesn't, uh, it doesn't go to and from this particular station right here cleanly. Um, so it has to skip this station. So it's going to go directly to this station. And actually, yeah, we don't need the blue line coming down here because... Um, it's going through Dark Astoria. So it stops in this station. Um, yeah, it's... This station right here just really needs to be on the line in order for it to work properly. That's, all, that's, that's our big problem here. Uh, so let me do a little surgery. I don't like necessarily going back to old sectors and, and doing surgery on them, but uh, in this case we might need to. Uh, just just to make it work for me. And I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do a big big overhaul here. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to take a train station here and move it. Yeah, there we go. Um, that. And now with the addition of tunnels, let's see if we can make this work for us. Trains can go into tunnels too. So there's that, and then we just send you, instead of up, send you down the ground, and so you can hook right into that tunnel. And then that comes up through this back, and then you hook right up to you. Oh, that's splendid. Now you, this this thing right here, actually, let's, let's give it a little bit of flat ground here. Let's just have the rails go on the ground for just a little, little, little bit to um, give this road a chance to uh, vault over it. Um, yeah, we're doing the that. Hmm. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. 
right, let's we can we can push this back a little bit. Actually, instead of this big ugly bridge, we don't need this big ugly bridge. I don't like this big ugly bridge. It is big. It is ugly. It is a bridge. It does not need to be a bridge. It needs to be a tunnel. Ha! Gotcha! You are now mine and underground. And you're gonna follow underground, underground, underground. Space already occupied by what? Can I not, uh... Can I not cross the, uh... Ah! Huh. Can't cross the, uh... Can't cross the tubes. Which makes sense. Yeah, space already occupied. Eh. Alright, so it's going to have to come above ground briefly. So if we put you here. Oops. Alright. Here we go. And you know what, I'm okay with you just running along the, the, the rails here this way. You don't necessarily need to go underground. You can just run the rails right along the coast here. That's fairly scenic. Let's try this again. Oh, duh. Oops. There. I was wondering what I was doing wrong. There we go. Yes, I know there's there's a problem here. Hang on. Delete that line. All right. Now we're now we're now we're set to repair the blue line. So the blue line starts here, stops there, stops here, stops here again, and finishes. And we will recolor you the blue line, since that is what I am familiar with here. And that should... Wait, how come it's not coming down this way? Hang on. Try that again. <laughs> I will get this eventually here. You start here. Add a stop. It's not transferring the line. Is there a problem? Yeah, you're going down here. There's something underground that I'm not seeing. Is it too sharp down there? That it's not connecting? Might be too sharp. already occupied by what? Hey, hang on, let's try this. Try this a new
You mean slope too steep? I don't get it. I do not get it. What is... What is the issue here? What is the malfunction? Yeah, we don't want you to up, uh, up, up there yet. Now here's what we're going to do. We're just going to have you do a wide sweep. Alright, now, will that let me uh, hook things up? They can't see if the track is too sharp down there. That's the problem. Line. Oop. Line. I'd stop. No, that doesn't work. It's not working. Now that's not working. Ay, ay, ay. All right, I'm going to put a cut here, and uh, once I have this figured out, we'll we'll be back. Okay, we're back. I had to do a lot of demolishing and uh, tunneling in here and whatnot, but we're back. Um, so, you hate tunnels for making the system work. So, yeah, this should clear up the extra train pain uh, that uh, our grid, our system was experiencing. We've got the new trimmed down blue line um, with only three vehicles, so that shouldn't clog uh, the lines here. Still got six on the uh, light blue line. No the building has burned down. But ultimately, this is what uh, we should be in good, pretty good shape here. Ooh, don't need garbage. Come on. Come on, game. Game. Thank you. Game. Ah, that was a little weird hiccup. All right, so the idea is that um, the blue line can now ferry along here, um, passengers and uh, people to and from work to this station, should they so choose. Um, and then people from here uh, can take the blue line. So the, this station is now the sort of the drop off and pick up point between the two lines. And things are slowing down here a little bit. Sorry about that, folks. Um, and yeah, once these uh, once these uh, excess trains clear themselves, we should be in good shape. Oop, what do we got here? What's what's the hold up here? Ah, people just waiting to uh, pick up the passengers from the southern train here. That's expected. But what should now be happening is that people who the trains when they come up to the north. Can now uh, pick up people going the, in the northern platform, and uh, that should allow them to. Ooh, hi, my my. Uh, that should allow them to use the station even while another car is here, which is good because it takes a long time when you have a 240, 240 full train. They like up here. This train up here is heading north. This other train is heading south, um, and they're using both sides of the station here. So that should work out nicely. And with more people using the train lines to get to this commercial district, we should uh, we should be reducing our number of cars coming in and therefore um, solving our uh, traffic jams here, hopefully. Well, it's starting to move a little bit better. Um, yeah, this cloverleaf right here is a little bit better. It was in sad state last time I checked it. In a very sad state last time. So we will uh, we will keep an eye on that, and I'll probably extend the the uh, light blue line down a little bit further. Yeah, these people are not a lot of people are signing up to work at this uh, at this uh, district here, even though uh, the commercial demand is there. Office sector is doing nicely though, have to give it that. So hooray for tunnels. All right, I think I might cut this episode a little short, um, just so that I can observe how uh, 
how that stuff uh, works for it. I'll point it out uh, once it's had a time to cook and also figure out what's going on with my computer and why it's slowing down all of a sudden. I don't want you guys have to watch me uh, slowly. Uh, well, it seems to smooth itself out. So let's let's press on. Let us press on. Um, I like I like the way the bay looks uh, without all those uh, without that ugly giant bridge. Um, gotta get you emptied. Much better without the ugly bridge. I will give it that. And this end station right here, yeah, this thing is just getting used up to. Now I have one more thought for for a way to uh, to further get people here. And that is it right here. This is like a nexus of all of the commercial zones here. Well, well, three or four of this area is commercial zones. Um, what if? What if we made a super stop here? What if we made a metro stop right here? Must be placed roadside. Poop. First, you and your roadside. I don't want you. I don't need roadsides. Uh, well, you know what? We're going to make a roadside that's not connected to any roads. Because you guys are... This is going to be a metro stop that's exclusively uh, um, uh, touches uh, um, uh, skyways. That's that's right. It's going to be a skyway-only uh, metro stop. It's a little bit of an experiment. Wait, no. That was underground. Okay. Let's try this. Can I fit the metro station here? Yes! Perfect! Alright, now, uh, where are we going to connect the metro station? Well, it is kind of surrounded. Um, so what we're going to do... Yeah, we can't go through that. It, it is, it is unfortunately surrounded. Hmm. That puts a damper on. Aha. Aha. All right, we got it. We got it now. We got it. Yes, demolish that. Here's one. We get a uh, just a single row. We'll make it pretty. We'll make it pretty. We'll extend it out to here. Put a metro station down. And... Hmm. So, since I already have these stations here, why don't I just... Uh, why don't I just put it along in one of the existing ones? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this metro station all the way down here. And we're going to be a, make a big old link like that. And then we're just going to get one new line. From here to here and back again. And see if an additional rail line opportunity of traveling will allow um, our commercial district to get a little bit more patronage. Um, now, for ease of use here, I am going to recolor you. I, I have a bad habit of not recoloring my uh, metro lines here, but we're gonna we're gonna make you the light blue line. That's gonna be sort of our our heart lines here, um, just so I can see how many people are. Uh, queuing up for it and utilizing it. And also I want to see how uh, how many people, because they color code the uh, passengers by uh, which service they use, so you can see which passengers are going to be uh, utilizing it. Now, yeah, we got full boats here uh, for uh, our other metro cars. This station is no doubt going to be very, very popular. Um, and actually a little difficult for our blue line to uh, break into. There we go. Alright, not too many people going in. But let me, uh, let's follow... Yeah, only 12 people. Let's follow these uh, and see how many, uh, how many light blue people are built up here. 
we can get some people starting to recognize that they can go back and forth through there, that's going to be all the more people that aren't going to be using our uh, our roads. Because that's ultimately our goal here, is to get people to, to tell them to knock it off with the freaking cars. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, it's still still a little back uppy, but uh, we're surviving. Oops, that's not good. All right, well let's um, let's put a cut here, um, and then in our next episode we will flesh out the remaining bottom part of this zone. Maybe get these uh, these poor shopping centers some workers. Um, oop, and some water for for this guy down here. He's been left out in the uh, left out to dry. Sorry about that, buddy. Uh, so if you like this episode and want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. Um, so until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.